the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming up together so those energies coming in together mean that you've got a union here that's you know meant to be it just shows here that um, there's been regrets in the past with other people and other situations and karma has played out a big part in those so you might have had some kind of love-hate relationships in the past that have not worked out too good but i can assure you that we've got either a female or a male coming in who is your counterpart this person is going to come in and mend your heart okay it just shows here that you may not be quite ready for this and might not be in the position where you're ready to move forward. However, taking it slow, talking and working through your kind of fears in this is what will make it work. So you don't have to rush, you don't have to kind of, you know, put too much pressure on the situation, but this person's coming in and you're gonna to have to make a decision just to open up to them a little bit, you know, go on a date, let them in. So I feel as though, moving forward with that you can kind of just allow yourself to feel self-love and to be you know allow yourself to be loved that's what you need to do in this moment because this person is somebody who really genuinely wants to come in and do good in your life bring something positive to your life it does show this will come in very unexpected so you might not even recognize that that's what this connection is and you might come across a little bit unbothered with this person but i feel like this person's going to be patient with you they're going to take the time this person's old school so you know they're going to want to date you get to know you it's not kind of going to rush in and there's no like love bombing and telling you everything you want to hear you don't have to oops you don't have to worry about that and um, so just kind of don't be feeling confused in the moment. Just kind of go with the flow. I do think that there's a lot of reflecting showing there. Just one second. I do think with this, you kind of used to a lot of drama. And because of that, you kind of have gone a bit quiet and you're holding back in that area of your love life. This person maybe will recognize this because I think this person's also been through some things, but the chemistry between you will be undeniable. And so, don't overthink the situation. Try to just let this person come in because they're here to heal you. These are here to move you on from karmic relationships and it might also be to move that person on from a karmic relationship. And you know, you've got your boundaries in place this time, so that's why you might not be so open to it, but keep a positive mindset because when this offer comes in, you will kind of, if you allow it, you will enjoy it. It will be great. It will be the best kind of decision you've ever made. Don't be so kind of keen to work out who this person is and what are their intentions and what's this and what's that. Just go with the flow because I feel as though if you just let it happen naturally, you will also learn to trust again and start to heal again as you move into this new chapter. So in the past, you've had people steal your time, steal your kind of energy. You lost your self-worth in relationships. And so when this person comes in, they allow you to just sit in an energy of feeling good and your well-being is in a good place and feeling healthy you've had quite a bit of space now and so the possibilities of moving forward are here it is the time now is the time so this person's coming in soon and this person is a soulmate so as much as you kind of might want to push it away or fight it or kind of get worried that what if you like them on them don't worry this person's going to shock you they're going to shock you but not in a unhealthy way they're going to shock you in a good way just take your time don't rush and go with the flow definitely a soulmate connection